going on. Finally got done sorting through the Hopkinton, Hopkinton sale. Um, took a long time. <laughs> um, how many hours did I invested into sorting? At least five hours. So I put in, oh my God, I put in 24 hours. 24 hours staying up, picking, and then hauled it home, and then sorted it. So we got 30 hours in. Um, a lot of people would be like, that's a lot of work for 30 hours. Um, I find this recreational activity for me. Um, time vested, waiting at a state sale from waiting there like 2 in the morning to 9 o'clock. I don't think that's, that time even physically applies because I'm like, I don't know, first off, getting a, I'm losing my voice, I'm sick. Um, I got contagivitis. Nobody can go near me. Um, so I camp out at the sale and I get recreational activity on. Um, basically looking up shit. Um, pardon my French been swearing a lot sorry um looking up stuff and um mainly stuff like that research recon missions um later sales whatever um so this is we're gonna do the haul video it's a lot of stuff to go through um i'll let you know right now this it might be an hour to do this video if you want me to go thoroughly through any of this stuff. It's kind of weird that this fell out of the uh, this thing here. It fell out right there. Kind of weird. Um, it does that once in a while. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff to process. Um, I got everything laid out for research where I could just look up stuff. And then uh, I got a nice tote of, um, I got a nice tote of good, good items. And um, bags of stuff sorted, all ready to, all ready to process. Got a big stack of books and um, everything's all laid out. Um, so let's get into the video. All right. Let's do a scan. Let's do a scan. All right, so the piles start here. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do a scan. This broken stuff, pots. Everything laid out basically is is the hall. So all these lenses going up with the cameras, um, going to the side here with these this stack of magazines. We'll go we'll go through that like about it at least. Um, this box of bags, um, camera bags and lenses bags. This um, stand for the um, star scope right there. Um, and then the cameras, digitals, and 35 millimeters, and then um, the box of stuff here that we'll go through. More random cameras, um, a couple video camera, uh, deep sea camera. Oh, hopefully you guys can hear some of this stuff. Um, Polka chest set, Texas Hold'em, and then all the smalls, all the small stuff that we're going through. So, like, the random little chunks, like all the stuff you could, you could bring this all to a flea market, 
I mean, you can bring everything to the flea market. It'll all go. So, really good stuff for a flea market. Um, but, we're just doing a scan. A lengthy scan. Basically, everything in a bag is a, a tool pot or a tool. And, uh, or a tube. And then I got these old stock bearings in the bags. Kind of separated through those a little bit. Um, still got these two tool chests all full. And then the stack of binoculars. And then the books. And then that one tote of uh, just different interesting things, kind of, I guess you could say. Specialty tools, stuff like that. Um... So, I did a couple videos, but we're just going to do a nice, kind of thorough one up close. Let you get a real good idea what half this stuff is. So, this is kind of cool. Sony Walkman TV. Got my comp. This is a very old... Um, Texas Instrument calculator. I didn't pull it out. It's a little, it's in okay shape. It didn't fire up or anything. You need to try it out. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff needs to get tested. Can't even stress that enough. It's a survival radio. It's a switcher. It's a five way speaker switcher. Radio Shack. In the box. Emerson. Radio. This thing's brand new. It's a good one. Um, it's kind of like one of these, but better. Got some uh, walkie talkies. Voice activate, activated two way communication. I think there should be two of those for that to be. For that to be legit. And then we have this Olympus TV. With the, uh, with the antenna. That I might have showed you that already. Sets of headphones. These are the muffs were bad on these, but and typically if the muffs were bad, I would have just threw them away. But these are studio hi fi's, um, so I didn't want to just throw them away. They're probably still good, just need some new muffs. Um, these are cool. These are um, open air headphones made by Panasonic. It's kind of like 70s, 80s. Pretty cool though. Another, just a regular generic set. And then these heavy duty pads are, pads are still good on those. It's heavy duty industrial. Like ham phones or something. Maybe maybe studio. Highly unlikely studio, but um this is the pile of scrap out of the chest of drawers. Um I did the chest in another video. So we got that chest in the deal. Some broken pots over there. There's still some more stuff in the trunk, like um maybe like two totes worth, let's let's say. It's a couple good pieces. Um, I took the best piece out of that tote because um, we went back on Sunday just to scrounge up a couple more items that we thought we missed. And uh, I'll show I'll show you the item real quick. This is the item that we got when we went back on Sunday. Uh, 
so don't know anything about planers. It's not good lighting at all. Okay. It's a box but it's a box scraper plane. This is Stanley. It's a 12 and a half. Get that from the numbers. All I believe just about all Stanley planes have a number, except for a number one. A number one's the most expensive one, but um, that one doesn't have a number, so those are kind of hard to find. This doesn't have a blade. Uh, the typical blade for this is a square blade. It comes up as a square. Normally you see them rounded off, but uh, this one's a square. This is a sweetheart because this has the uh, it's a rosewood bottom. So there we go. Rosewood bottom. Um, fetch a little bit more money. So this is probably like eighty dollar piece right here. It's a good one. It's good. That's a good scroll. Uh, love finding good old nice planes they do well so we got this random box of different kinds of lenses and parts um, the pressure triggers um, for different pictures and got some film we gotta develop all different kinds of lenses in here Filters, cleaners, parts, same thing all in there, just parts and uh, filters and lenses. This all I believe is um, microscope lenses, all these. Scope lenses. I never know what any of this stuff's gonna do. Can put it in a auction. Part it out. Who knows? Different old stock and uh, camera parts. Flashes. That looks a little broken. That's a part. A couple of their flashes. Bunch of manuals. More parts. Um, this is a Maya Super 16. I don't really know what this puppy is. I'll have to look it up. But it's got that nice little case. Huh. Let me tote that around. Oh, that's my Mars. Um. All these lenses. I'll have to look them all up. All conditions vary. But there's some good ones. Most of them are Canons or Nikons. Um, I think it's only like one Vivitar, which is uh, this one, I think. The biggest one. But a lot of good stuff. Um, the bags, yeah. We got it's got to be.
100. Maybe 70. 70 of these. Gas and engine magazine. And it has an R and a D. Um, like third grade edition. At the top left hand corner. Of um, each one. Yeah. All of them. And then we got all these digitals. We'll have to test. Olympus, 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 Sony, Samsung, Kodak, Canon, Nikon, Fuji, HP, Olympus, Nikon, Nikon, Nikon. Um, a Canon, Power Shot, Power Shot, Power Shot. Also another Power Shot. Kodak, Sony Handycam, another Canon, Olympus, and a couple generics. It's a nice little lo lot of cameras, I guess. I don't know really what I'm going to get out of any of this stuff for the cameras. It's a lot of testing and stuff. But, um,. I know my flea market numbers and should be doing pretty good right there. Let me get all these uh, 35 millimeters. Canon FTB, Areco, uh, KR5 Super 2. Some of these I don't even know the names of, but I'll just let you in there. I mean, some of these should do pretty good. There's a couple of film film camera that I found. And underwater camera. It's a 1954 underwater camera. We got the battery charger kit. A couple more remotes. Add those to the stack. Car charger. A couple random tools. And, uh, it's a tester. Um, a clock. Leatherman, and there's a bunch of these. I've seen other ones selling, but they're like close to these models. Two gauges, 2200 PSI. Good. There's um, I think 12 of them over there. So hopefully I can move those. That's the flea flea market tote right there. That that's like what I think 
is going to the flea and everything else I'm going to try and list, I guess. Um, got this poker kit. It's complete. It's got a key. Um, I mean, it's, it's got a key. I figured it was a high-end set. The guy had like 10 sets of different kinds. Um, this looks like a good one. It was heavy. Heavy duty. These random little cars. I pulled out the Packard. No clue what these do. I'm in China, but don't mean anything. Little mini vice. Some taps. A couple prisms. Deck of cards. A little tchotchke. A little pickle bar. Um, it's a lead. A lead head hammer. Uh, this is for... You use these in an area where there's gas and there's uh, no spark allowed. Use one of those. Uh, wrench. Basic wrench. I'll have to look this thing up. There was a couple more of these. I just didn't want to uh, have... I don't know. It was like ten of those. So... I should have maybe grabbed more, but I should have maybe looked it up and then started grabbing them. I don't know. I didn't look it up yet. They could have been worth something. This uh, could have been something that I missed. Some random chunks and tools. Um, I'm going to look these up. These, um, these could be something. This is New Britain. New Britain. Bunch of machinist bits. Some uh, Briggs and Stratton old stock. More machinist bits. Huge pile of um, masonry tap bits. Uh, mostly swivels. Some Bonnie. In there, there's some craftsmen in there. Just some uh, her Herman in there, Heman. And there's some Herbrand. Herbrand. Some Herbrand in there. These I gotta check out. Um, these are Blue Point. Not sure if Blue Point is like. The comparable to snap on at that point in time might be. Um, some uh, pencil lead. Um, got the star it punches right here. Twelve start punches, conduit plugs. Really showed the most of this stuff, but so, you know, forty leather punches, files, pickle bars, chisels, all different kinds of machinist clamps, all through there. Got the uh, in index plates, machinery index plates. It's a good bag here. All Jacobs bits, chucks, chucks and chucks. This is like 150 bucks probably. This whole bag, maybe close. It's a bag of snap on here. Um. Allen wrenches, huge bags of Allen wrenches, big bag of C clamps, like, what did I write, 68, 
68 C clamps in there. Um, should be this guy is already the Vatner bit. Hate to say I'm not wrong too. But the Waltner machinist bit. That's about a couple hundred bucks there. We got all the old stock bearings. It's like, I don't know, 100, 100 bearings. Must have numbers. So. Got a big set of shears, a couple sets, some good ones. These are probably like. These are probably fifteen dollars shears right here. Very sharp fabric shears. Uh, all different kinds of uh, good looking random hammers. I'm a carpenter, so I'm all into hammers. I like hammers. These are all machinist hammers. Um, these could be good in here, this bag. What is right? I wrote shoulder screws. Sizes. That's the same as the one I just showed you. So if any screws that are going to be expensive, it's definitely going to be these ones. Hey, dog. A lot of shoulder screws. Um, there's tons of good pieces. Bag of probes, old probes. I'll look a couple of those up. Blades, hexa blades, some start ones, some uh, Simmons redheads, some Capman. I mean, I could be telling you guys numbers as I'm showing you stuff, so um, all this, all this could be 40 bucks. I think. Um, bearings? I don't know. I mean, so some of these going for $30 each. So I, I comped a couple out once they saw a sell. 30 bucks. For the pair. And I'm cheaper than the other, so it's probably like 35 for those. And then I have 20 for these. 10 to 10. Um, just the ones that I looked up. Uh, huge bag of tubes here. Some big boys in there. All the big ones. Another big bag of tubes. Some big ones. box of tubes uh, 
per view for GB. Never know. Just never know. Look at that. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking you guys around a little. Oh, get some Mike and Ike's. Okay. We've got these spare parts for um bush nails. Oh brook brook Let me see my she's on. Brookstone. There's uh she's seven pairs. I don't know if he was just fixing them. Something. Need more of these Mike and Ike. Sorry. These are good. There we go. And we got um, 25 pairs of binoculars. All different kinds. Let's go. Let's see his Vivita, Bell and Howl, Tasco, Zenith, JC Penny, Soccer, all different kinds. Um, don't really know what much of those will do. We got these machinery chests, it's basically. Machinery bits. I'll show you some old stock there. There's a couple more old stock in there. It's boring, boring bits. Mostly like wave parts. There's one drawer that I saw something that's gonna get us some money on this drawer. Um, these parts, I don't know what these go to, or if these are like bits. But if these are bits, these are expensive. Morse. Made by Morse. New Bedford, Massachusetts. So those could be good. Um, yeah, this guy made this thing. So these. Never seen bits like this before. That's a SMS. Let me look in there. PNS Manufacturing, Providence, Rhode Island. Number 1 14. BP 135 to the rack. Interesting. This thing's like bluntly sharp. It's like machine shop. All different sizes. So I think those are going to be worth something. We get the books. Piles of books. Mostly like um, coin collecting. Some automobile books. 
stuff like that. Then we got power supply, new old stock power supply. I do okay. Got a Levitron. I'm showing you these. Show them to you again. The primitive tools and um, arrowheads. Primitive scraper tool. Hammer. And old arrowheads. Some salt and pepper. Mineral boards, mineral chess boards. This thing we gotta look up. These double ringers. It's a green and an orange set. Diamond Chalk, Horseshoe Company. Get this bag of. Um, Chest parts, mineral chest parts. We got this practice SOS. This move. Stethoscope. Good condition. Get this nice box. Couple of gauges. Same one as this one's in that bag. Two of those, one there too. And then, uh, I'll show you. To level machinist level Helios gauge so three of those makers but um, got a slide rule I think this is yeah slide slide rule complete in the box it's a good one I forget the name of the brand but I know it's a good one and then uh, I don't know how this thing is
So, a lot of stuff. I'm losing my voice. Oh, still sick. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff to look up. A lot of stuff to list. It's going to be a long, long winter. Because I have all this that I just showed you. Um, what else we got to list? Good. All that in that pile needs to be listed. Like all the shirts and clothes and some bags and all this stuff needs to get listed. Oh, and I got these batteries, all these batteries right here. In the sale. Um, you know, all this stuff I gotta process. I know what all that is worth, so it'll be easier. This whole rack I gotta process. Oh. I got that all that to process. All those games. Oh man, tired. So yeah, I'm gonna be rifling them off. Looking to push to a thousand or two thousand store, one store, two stores, three stores, four. I don't know. So hit the like if you like what you see and you you'd like to. Um, I don't know. See more hauls like this, I guess. Hit that thumbs up. I'll keep power picking. Always, always in the mood to make big moves buying, so it's always fun. So, um, till the next video. Peace.